Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on activity 2.2.5 water heating tube part. Okay, let's begin. First, uh, make sure that your uh, workspace units are inches because we are going to work on the inch part. Okay, it is inch. Now we are going to start from the front view and then we are going to click the sketch and then we are going to click the end button. Now I am going to start with center point arc escape we are going to use the dimensions are provided here so i know that 1.95 from here top to bottom so let's continue so i'm going to use the dimension tool distance from top to bottom here it's going to be better 1.95 next i'm going to use the line tool distance from the bottom length and escape and i have i'm going to use the line tool again for the top part then escape now i'm going to put the dimensions the bottom length of the tube is 2.31 and the top part is we are going to 2.06 minus 0.25 other part I'm going to do it later okay now the first sketch is completed green check mark I'm going to click the isometric view now I'm going to click the I'm going to make another sketch on the right view. So I'm going to click the sketch tool. Right view. Then I'm going to click the right on the cube. I'm going to use the center point circle. And the bottom part of the sketch. I'm going to just make a circle. And diameter of this circle is. I'm going to use the dimension tool. 0.37. 0.37 inches now I'm gonna end the sketch and click the isometric view okay so the sketches are completed now I'm gonna use the sweep feature click the sweep choose the circle that you made it and then click this sweep path and then choose the sweep path the lines that you just made it and a green check mark okay first part is completed now um, I'm gonna make another sketch on the front view so I'm gonna click the front sketch and then I'm gonna click the front on the cube now I'm gonna use the line tool I will make um, this part I'm gonna make this part now Okay, so I'm going to just zoom. I'm just going to draw some lines. Just make sure. Perfect. This is completed. Now I'm going to use the dimension tool. So first of all, um, I know that top to bottom of this circle, uh, the arc is 1.95. So this is going to be the half. So I'm going to click the here and the center. So this is supposed to be 1.95 over 2. And then this part is 0.27 over Two, because I'm going to revolve it and this part here point per the 7 over 2 because these are the radius that I am putting um, but the, on the activity diameters are given and the length of here is 0.25 And okay, the last part I'm gonna use coincident constraint. 
and I want this line as you can see it's not touching the touch the circle perfect now as you can see the sketch turns completely black it means it is fully constrained I'm gonna click the green check mark I'm gonna click the isometric view now I'm gonna use the revolve feature revolve I'm gonna choose the sketch that I just made it and then I'm gonna choose the revolve axis which is going to be this line perfect now green check mark okay this part also completed now I want them the hollow tube this is supposed to be hollow tube so I'm gonna use the shell feature I'm gonna click the shell and then I'm gonna choose the faces to, to remove this part and this part and the shell thickness is going to be 0 0.05 total supposed to be going to be 0.1 so I'm gonna click the green check mark now it is completed so we can see that all the part is hollow now so I can just right click and I can just click the section view and you can see that actually it is hollow right okay I'm gonna just click X that all right this part completed lastly I'm gonna make the this part uh, 0.5 inches threaded so to be able to do that I'm gonna use thread creator uh, that's the custom feature uh, if you don't have this one you're gonna just click the add custom features and you're gonna type it thread creator and you're gonna add it okay so it's it's gonna make the work a lot easier so I'm gonna click three thread creator and then I'm gonna choose this part and then um, it's supposed to be pitch length is 116 so 1 over 16 and instead of fully threatened I'm gonna choose the distance and it's going to be 0.5 inches and then let's see how it's gonna be look like when I click the green check mark before I click the green check mark as you can see it is wrong direction so I'm gonna just switch the direction start at opposite end and green check mark all right it that's it so this is how you are gonna make um, water heating tube okay have a wonderful day.